welcome to Math Molecules. This is a short tutorial specifically on how to share annotated files from Kami through Google Drive. If you would like to know how to annotate or do corrections just like you do in your regular classrooms, please watch my video, the link for which is given in the description. So let's start from the scratch from opening a file on Kami and correcting it or doing annotations on Kami and finally sharing the same file through Google Drive. Let's see how we can do this. The first step is to open the existing file. Here I'm opening a file which I have received on my Gmail. It's a PDF file. Now we'll have to click on the option open with. When we click on this, we get various options. Annotate with Kami. Note that this option would only appear if you have already installed the Kami extension on Google Chrome. Then you can get it here, right here. Okay, so let's click on Annotate with Kami. While it opens, I would create a folder specifically to store my annotated files, the files which I'm going to create now. Once I have done the corrections on Kami, I would like to store it in some place for my future reference or to share it back with my students. I'm going to do that first. Let me go to Google Drive, click on Google Apps, go to Drive. I'm creating a specific folder, particular folder where I will be storing these particular files. So here I am going to name it as created files. You can give any name of your choice. It's for your reference. Okay, it has come here. So we will be saving our annotated files right here in graded files. Let's see how we can do that. Now going back to the file to be annotated. Now this is the file. In my previous video, I had told about the pro version of Kami, which has a 90 days trial. So some of you had asked, then what is available with the basic version? The only difference between the basic version and the pro version is that in pro you get these voice comment, video comment and screen capture and the signature. Press the basic ones for your corrections, the drawing, equation, text box or text comment, markup. All these things are available in your basic version. So even when the trial ends, as a teacher, we can have these enough tools available here to do our corrections. The basic version is good enough for us. Now let's see how can we go ahead and do annotations. I wouldn't be discussing annotations in detail here because I have done that in my previous video. You can please refer to that. The link is given in the description. So a simple annotation I would do. do a bit of correction and maybe just a signature just to save time I am not going to do annotations in detail now this file has been annotated and I am I have to share this to my student now there are two ways in which I can do either I can directly share the document from here let me try doing that so if I click on that directly share the document and I want my student to view this right in that case I should make it viewer here anyone with the link can view please change the permission if you make it as editor in that case the person who is receiving the link will also be able to annotate and make changes but here I only want the person to view so I made it as a viewer and now when I copy this link here and paste it, mail it back or paste on the chat or on the learning platforms, then the student just has to click on the link to view the annotations, to view the corrected paper. But in this case, the student should also have a Kami extension. It will ask for the Kami extension to be installed. So if we don't want to do that, you know, I don't want the people viewing my annotated sheets to have Kami extension. So what do I do in that case? In that case, if you see here, this option of save, 
okay it automatically saves any annotations get automatically saved into cami itself but now here i would like to save the same onto my drive specifically okay so you see here it says my drive and it says move click on move now it has opened my drive wherein i can see this folder which i created specifically to store my corrected or annotated files so i will just take that and it highlights select option now click on select so now our annotated file is being saved in this folder which we created it shows graded files here now let's just check it out if it is saved there or not let's go to drive again and open it here yeah this is the folder graded files let's just quickly open it and the file is here let's open and see if we've got the annotated file now as you see we've got the corrected file the annotated file here so a file is stored in the right place now now if we would like to share it in that case click here the three dots and click on share you have few other options to rename and all that but click on share in case if you would like to share it now again i would like to share it with my student and please check the access right what you are giving it okay to the person who gets the link anyone on the internet with this link can view this is what is given default here now if you would like to change it for example if i am going to share it with my colleague who would do further corrections on the same paper like two people correcting the same paper in that case i can give the option of editor here where the person can go ahead and edit as well but right now i'm going to share it with my student i only want my student to view my corrections to view whatever grading i have done so in that case i will select it as viewer and then i can copy this link copy link and then i am done the link which i have copied i can share it on any platform uh, like whatsapp or google meet or zoom or through mail also i can simply give away the link when the person on the other hand clicks on this link can go ahead and see this annotated file so it is as simple as that to share your file through google drive in case if you do not want the other person to install cami that case you can save your file to the google drive and share it from there so what i can do is i can go ahead compose a mail and just click paste this link here so once the other person receives the link he or she will be able to access the annotated file I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding how to share the annotated file of Cami through Google Drive. This video is particularly made only to share through Google Drive. Thank you so much for watching Math Molecules. Have a nice day.